ask how long have you been cancer free? It's been 13 years. It's been 13 years for my first uh, breast cancer, which was my right breast. Uh, I, I had mastectomy uh, on my right, but uh, 2014, uh, that was about how many years ago? I, I also had my second breast cancer. Melissa, can you uh, share with us your own cancer patient journey? Um, how were you screened or diagnosed with breast cancer? Yeah, previously, uh, I would go for my for my OB checkups. No, um, there was one time she told me, "Na, oh, Melissa, you have to have your breast check. You go to this doctor and uh, have yourself checked because I meron akong nakakapa according to the doctor." And for me, uh, I kind of took it for granted because I was living in uh, I live healthy life i was uh, very much into sports and exercising and uh, i i took it for granted but i did go i did go to that doctor and then the doctor was telling me melissa can you have your uh biopsy because i see something there and i was telling myself no i don't, I don't think this is the right the you know it's the right one it took time i think about sadly it took about a month before i went to her and had my biopsy so um that that is very important uh to for others to know that i i totally believe in every cancer in every test uh it's really important that uh, we have ourselves checked and uh, uh, diagnosis of uh, breast cancer is is, uh, is very difficult to accept. So I totally believe in that early detection. I believe is a cure for cancer. Okay, ask how long have you been cancer free? It's been thirteen years. It's been thirteen years for my first uh, breast cancer, which was my right breast. Uh, I, I had mastectomy uh, on my right, but uh, 2014, uh, that was about how many years ago, I, I also had my second breast cancer. It was not a metastasis. Uh, it was another, another cancer. And thank God I was able to uh, have it checked right away because I felt something already in my right breast. and. Because I knew already that early detection can save me, no? So that's exactly what I did for my second um, uh, diagnosis. I I did have my had myself check, and uh, yes, I did had my my uh, right breast mastectomy all, all over again. I mean, the second time around, and um, that was my second breast cancer. Mm -hmm. But uh, during the second one, since it's, it was detected uh, early on, Melissa, no, uh, you were able to um, save up on the other uh, treatments for cancer. Oh, yes, because the very first one, my first breast cancer was uh, stage 2A. So I had to go through chemotherapy. Uh, I didn't want to go through radiation anymore. That's why pumayaga po mastectomy. And um, uh, I had to go through a six session of chemotherapy. And it took time. It, it, about, about eight months, uh, I was going through my uh, chemo. But for the new uh, breast cancer diagnosis, you did not have to go through chemo. Is that right? Because maaga siya na detect. You're correct, Nina. Um, I didn't have to go through chemotherapy the second time around because it was uh, diagnosed uh, early, as uh, so what we call it here, early detection. Uh, Melissa, can you share with us what was the most challenging part 
of your journey and what helped you stay strong uh, all through it through it all yeah. the most challenging is because uh, i'm a mother of three no i have uh, two boys and a girl and they were very little then when i was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer and the most difficult was for me to be able to tell them and explain to them at a very young age that was going to happen to mommy uh, because you know naman as a parent uh, alam natin lahat our children really depends on us and they look at look us at us as the heroes of, of the home diba right? uh i knew it was going to be difficult for me to tell them that i'm going through that i'm going to go through a treatment where in where in i knew na makakalbo ako i knew na manghihina ako that i'll be kind of bedridden and i already told them even at a very young age myself and my husband explained it to them that Uh, mommy is going to go through a treatment that uh, mommy has cancer and she's going to lose her hair the very question that my second son asked me actually was kind of difficult for me to to really answer i uh, was when he asked me mommy are you going to be in pain and then i i i told him that mommy is going to be in pain but my husband told him that You know, even if mom is going to be in pain, we are going to be around mommy and the Lord Jesus Christ will be helping mommy go to go through this. Because in our family, it's very uh, significant our walk with uh, our, our faith, you know, our walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. And very significant yun sa mga anak namin. It was difficult for me to tell them but you know i was able to go through it and i was led led well to be able to to face that difficulty at niña as like what you're telling me what's the most difficult really you know that you're a mother and it's really difficult to tell your children oh mommy is going to be in pain yes <laughs> so I imagine uh, melissa uh, yes. you were how old at the time you were in your 40s ba Yes, 46. I was 46. And my children were like uh, uh, twen- uh, sorry, 12, 12, 8, and 5. So, mm-hmm. medyo, they, they already know what, what's going on, but kind of difficult. Diba, to, it's the first time for them to hear what cancer is. And we had to tell them because I know that uh, because I was still active. In, in the business of show business at that time i knew that it's going to be announced by but in in the news or whatever you know and i didn't want them to hear it from their classmates or anyone else outside home so i had we, we had to to explain it to them right away right that moment uh, marami akong na encounter diyan na takot mag-check Uh, acknowledging and, and and knowing that you are a, you have cancer and that's already something to face and it, it's hard very very hard to accept also so mm-hmm. kaya takot yung mga tao but uh, melissa you're here with us and you're just showing us that you know you can survive this there is hope and especially when detected early talagang very crucial talaga ang cancer screening um, aside from you know it saves you up on expenses no kasi totoo yan uh, kung hindi ka mamamatay sa cancer mamamatay ka sa gastos di ba so um, <laughs> mas mabuti talaga to be for it to be detected early and uh, by educating our public hopefully we'll be able to um, you know Uh, alleviate the fears that we're all feeling right now. So, because, and knowing that somebody like Melissa uh, can be here with us right now, you know, uh, really, really gives us hope. So, thank you so much for uh, sharing your journey.